Okay, so today is Go Math, and we are talking about Unit 4, Lesson 7. Uh, so 4.7, we're still using unit rates. So this whole entire unit for Unit 4, we've been talking about um, rates, ratios, unit rates, rate tables. How do we basically compare what boils down to equivalent fractions to help us solve our problems? So looking at Keon, now Keon earns $105 for mowing 3 yards, so how much will Keon earn for mowing 10 yards? Well, I can't easily just multiply 3 times something to get 10 in my head. That's not going to work. And I have 105, well, again, I can't just multiply, now for 9 yards, I just multiply 105 to buy 3 and I would get my answer. But I can't do that off the top of my head and I don't think it's going to help to make a rate table. It's really not going to help me. So how can I solve a problem like this when the number of yards, or my equivalent, isn't very useful? I can take my $105, um, two things I'm comparing, dollars and yards, and I'm abbreviating yards as the measurement, but it's not the measurement, we know this. So he makes $105 for three yards. And I want to know how much he makes, that's the money in question, for 10 yards. Again, I have nothing that I can easily multiply 3 by to get 10. Yes, uh, 3 and a third, but that's not really going to do well for me. So instead, what if I took it down to a unit rate, which is just 1? How much does he get paid per yard? So if I know that, I can easily find how much he gets paid for 10 yards, right? So I take 3, and I want to go, how much does he get paid per unit, per yard? So obviously, to go from 3 to 1, I'm going to divide by 3. 105 divided by 3, well, if I come over here, 105 divided by 3, 3 goes into 10 3 times, that makes 9, bring down your 5, 3 goes into 15 5 times, that's 15, and he makes $35 for 1 yard. So now I know if he makes $105 in 3 yards, he makes $35 for 1 yard, and I go from 1 to 10, I multiply by 10, and 3, 35 times 10 is going to be 350. So, how much would he earn for mowing 10 yards? He would earn $350 for 10 yards. So, I took my original value and I couldn't easily just transfer it into the other value. So, I went down to a unit rate of 1 and from there I could jump up to the next one. So, let's try one more. See what that looks like. All right. So if I have 6 to 14, and how many to 30? Um, well, they do look at Go Math, and they want you to draw a bar model. And that's something we're going to look at in class, but it's not something that, that I really want to spend a whole lot of time on in here. So 6 to 30. And ultimately, I want to get over here to how many for 14? Well, I don't know. And I, I have nothing that I can really come off the top of my head with to multiply 6 by that's easily going to give me 14. If there were 12, sure, or 18, that would make sense. So instead, let's see if I can get to 1. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just take the 6 to 1 rather than the 30 because that would make this either a decimal or a fraction. That's, that's messy. I want to make this as easy as possible. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 30 divided by 6 because whatever I do to the top, I do to the bottom. 30 divided by 6 is 5. So a 6 to 30 ratio is a 1 to 5 ratio. We're just simplifying fractions here, right? I can find the greatest common factor. I can simplify my fractions. It's the same thing. So from there, I want to go up to 14. I know 1 times 14 equals 14. So 5 times 14 will actually give me 70. So a 6 to 30 ratio is a 14 to 70 ratio. So again, when you're using unit rate to compare two values that are not very consistent, not alike, I want to drop it to a unit rate, value of 1. And once I have that value, I can multiply up to get my next value. 